Hello everybody and welcome to this game maker tutorial. Uh, in this uh, video I want to show you how to make an inventory system that you can use for your game. In this first part I only gonna show you the setup. So if you already have a game you want to implement an uh, inventory, inventory system. Uh, I think you can skip to the next part. Uh, in my experience is uh, that as soon as you have an inventory system for your game, uh, you have uh, endless with the possibilities and uh, also the game will be much more fun to play. So let's dive into the setup part of this uh, tutorial. We gonna. I'm using Game Maker Studio 2, and we're gonna use a uh, start a new project, new blank project using Game Maker language and uh, inventory tutorial. Let's give it name two, and let's go. Doesn't matter. So let's take a look at uh, the room and the size of the room. Let's just keep it and let's make a background for uh, the game or whatever it's going to be. Uh, we're going to create a sprite and set the size of the sprite to... The size of the room, 768, and apply that, and let's just give it a green color, like it, if it's grass, and yeah, you don't need much, That this is some grass, just so you know. And also, we want a guy, and uh, let's give it a name to sprite background. And also make a sprite for uh, the player. Let's keep it uh, 64 times uh, 64. And edit the image. Just make some, uh, yeah, let's make a blue guy. Sorry, I want this one. And just fill it. Let's remove that one somehow and uh, give him some legs and go a face and I uh, it's a good advice to always uh, draw your sprites pointing to the right side and just because that's the initial direction of sprites in Game Maker Studio so uh, I don't know doesn't look very good but it doesn't matter um, let's give the sprite a name we call it uh, as for sprite and player and also we need to have some items for the game so i just draw that sprite in this part too um another sprite and uh, yeah, let's uh, make the size be 32 for the items and uh, 
let's draw some items actually i want the first frame to be empty um we will see later why and let's draw some items let's draw an apple a red apple let's do that again That wasn't very red, but a little dark on the outside. I'm not very good at drawing, as you can see, but it doesn't matter. And let's have a light color just up here for... And some green. An apple for... Uh, or the second frame. Let's call that an apple. And uh, we want to add one more frame. And let's draw a bone in here. Not green, but white. Like this and fill it. And also, uh, we want to have one more item, and let's uh, let's draw a heart. Like. This didn't look very good, but doesn't matter. I'm just gonna and also uh, we're gonna add uh, some objects now. Uh, the first object, or let's first. Um, in the room, uh, put the background. Uh, we don't have a layer for that, but uh, GameMaker will help us create. So, as you can see up here, we got a new asset layer. Let's move that just above the background layer. And on the instance layer, we're gonna place an object that is the player so let's create that object we're gonna give it uh, the sprite of the player and let's add the step event and uh, make some uh, keyboard uh, movement code so uh, if keyboard uh, check, and we're going to check for the, let's start with the A key. We need And that is uh, A is for moving to the left. So in the X uh, position, we're gonna subtract. Let's make it five. And also, we wanna make the X scale to be minus one, just to make the image uh, point in the right direction or left direction when we move to left and when we move to the right which is D we want to add to um, to exposition and also set uh, the image scale back to one and also we want to be able to walk up and down with uh, up with the uh, W key and 
now we don't need to set the image uh, scale then. Oops. And go down with the S key. And we want to add to the Y coordinate. That's it. And let's move the player into the room. Let's give him a name first. Um, object player. And uh, make sure you are on the right layer when you add him. We want him on the instance layer. And that's about it. Let's try. And it's moving. Uh, as you can see, he's glitching a bit when. So to fix that, just place him in the center of the screen. The player sprite. Here, the origin to middle center. 32, 32. And um, also, let's give this uh, sprite uh, the items name hmm. let's just try again for now and this should be the first part of this uh, inventory system video we are not uh, we did not make any progress to the inventory system but this is this is just so we have a setup to play with so, uh, hope I see you in the next video. Hopefully it's more interesting, interesting stuff for you in that video. But uh, yes, we need to do this uh, part first. So, thank you for watching and um, hope I see you in the next uh, video.